Thank you, Struan. Thank you, Madam Rajab. For several times, I was in Ashraf for long periods, since 2004, was that Ashraf was an oasis in Iraq. I have been in the south, in Assyria, I have been everywhere in the Kurdistan, near the Syrian border, to the by road from Amman to Baghdad, and I can swear that there was nothing back in those years from 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, like Ashraf. There was a functional society, there was an oasis where nearby people could find medical support. There was water distribution organized from Ashraf covering several villages in the surroundings. There were, I saw thousands of Iraqis freely gathering, discussing their own issues and organizing democratically their own political life. Iraqis that were Sunnis, that were Shias, that were Christian, that were whatever. They were free. There was a land of opportunity. And this was the reason why the totalitarian regime could not admit Ashraf. That's the reason why of the hate. Nothing but this. And what we saw in September the 1st, it was actually something that has a degree, a very substantial degree of difference with the rest. Because thank for, we must be very thankful for the three reporters, actually these three reporters that gave their lives for recording to the humankind the assassinations that were being taken uh, in place at this time. They were heroes of reporting. And thanks to them, we have something that actually we do not have from so many other genocides, not even from the times of the Second World War. We, we have the images, we know very well who did it. They did not even hide their uniforms. Everything is absolutely clear. Nobody can deny it. But still, they pursue in the line. Not only we are expecting this from the Iranian regime and their, and their uh, stooges in Iraq, but from the United States from the United Nations, even from the European Union, how can they deny? How can they ever be convinced that by whitewashing mass murder like this, they will achieve any peace? This is such a lie. Never, never in history this ever happened. The result is that they will say, fantastic, we can assassinate in a mass way, in broad daylight, we will do more and more often. And of course the Camp Liberty is going to be the next target. But no one is free of this totalitarian regime. No one. Not, of course, the neighbors that are in the front line, but no one else in the world. And this should be understood. History is very clear. I think this is uh, the reasoning that they are offering to us. This is a catastrophe, what they are doing. And we have to persist, and we have to say, and I'm very, very happy to see so many of you, so many uh, talented parliamentarians like you, to give your voice to this, uh, to this truth, and to ignore the threats of the Iranian amb embassy and all of, uh, of their... Uh, of their maneuvers, they will be, um, they will not be enough to, to, to shut you up and to kill the truth. And we shall prevail, I am certain of this. Thank you very much for your invitation.